Every day, something dramatic happens in the Caribbean that affects our lives. We'll give you the details. We'll give you the facts on Caribbean Perspective with Eddie Fedrick. How's Eddie Fedrick? So glad you can join us. CARICOM reigns supreme for its intervention in the Venezuela-Guyana crisis. This story takes the lead in today's edition of Caribbean Perspective for Monday, 18th December 2023. Brought to you in association with our friends at Antillian Group. Details when we return. Believe in our strength, we'll stand by you. Protection from all perils, big and small. Reassurance we give, it's so glad to see. Peace of mind, that's a service guarantee. We look all our family Yes, we do at every opportunity Antillian Group, underwriters of all classes of insurance solutions for your protection and investment. Live well financially. Welcome back. On Thursday, the first of what could be many discussions between Presidents Irfan Ali of Guyana and Nicolas Maduro of Venezuela commenced in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. President Ali firmly maintained that the ongoing border dispute would not be a subject of discussion, negotiation or deliberation during these talks. HGP's Chemar Alin will provide more information in his report. Presidents Irfan Ali and Nicholas Maduro met across the table with the Caribbean Community CARICOM and other representatives as the dialogue between Guyana and Venezuela got underway. The dialogue, which was held at the Argyle International Airport in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, started in a threefold process. The first phase saw President Ali telling CARICOM leaders there would be no discussion, negotiation or deliberation on the Guyana-Venezuela border controversy. The second phase was between CARICOM and the Venezuelan team. The third phase is where Ali and Maduro met face-to-face. Meeting. I would like... Once again, Guyana's clear position, that is, we are a peace-abiding country and people. We have no other ambition than to pursue the peaceful coexistence with Venezuela and every country in this region. Furthermore, the Guyanese leader said he informed his Venezuelan counterpart that Guyana could exercise its sovereign right within its territorial space to approve and facilitate any development. In fact, he told both local and international media operatives that he reiterated Guyana's position to defend its case, which is before the International Court of Justice. So as we move forward, in the next phase of the meeting, and in keeping with invitation, with sought to enable a process of dialogue on consequential issues, so, not on the issue before ICJ, on consequential so issues. That that dialogue, the shape and the form of that dialogue, que la forma y, y la en el, que se va a a understanding el... of how we move forward is the next phase of these meetings. At the time of this report, both presidents were engaged in another round of dialogue. To this end, President Ali said that both parties committed to ensuring the region remains a zone of peace. Reporting for HGP Nightly News, Shamar Allen. Tensions have been eased in the region after Thursday's high-level talks between the two South American neighbors. TTT News has more. CARICOM can breathe a sigh of relief after neighbors Venezuela and Guyana met in the Caribbean to speak about their border dispute. 
But according to the Minister of Foreign and Caricom Affairs, Dr. Amir Brown, the situation has not been fully resolved. However, Dr. Brown highlighted that the meeting in St. Vincent and the Grenadines was fruitful. He said that although the meeting between Guyana's President Irfan Ali and President Nicolas Maduro started off with much frigidity, in the end, both men were able to agree that the Caribbean should continue as a zone of peace. President Ali and President Maduro, and you could see some progress. There was more warmth, there was a, a, a genuine exchange and uh, several handshakes, and uh, there was some more, more comfort. What we were able to emerge with, and I want to, to state clearly my position, that what occurred yesterday was a seminal moment in the history of the Caribbean community. However, Minister Brown admitted that there were points of contention between the South American neighbors that could not be sorted out at the meeting. The interpretation of the Geneva Agreement is, is one of those um, which there, 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 is, there are miles of separation. Um, let me try to give you another example of just sheer distance. The the issue of either side having uh, defense exercises with uh, forces from other countries. Dr. Brown noted that both countries have agreed to meet again in Brazil in the next three months. Guyana's President Dr. Irfan Ali finally met with Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro and CNC3's Soyini Gray reports, however, that little seemed to have come out of the meeting. What, what do you think that means? This tells you. I don't have to think what it means. We know, we know what this means. This is Guyana. All of it belongs to all of Guyana. A defiant Irfan Ali after his first meeting with Venezuela's Nicolas Maduro in St. Vincent and the Grenadines this afternoon, after weeks of escalating tensions, the two finally met face to face in a meeting brokered by CARICOM, CELAC, and Brazil. <laughs> there was applause after the two shook hands for the first time after weeks of a war of words. But it seems there was little new that came out of the actual encounter. The Guyanese president's mood was dark as he spoke to the media, flanked by his attorney general and foreign affairs minister as though he was ready for a diplomatic battle, at least. In the second phase of their meeting, the two leaders will meet on matters consequential to both of their countries, and Dr. Ali was careful not to prejudice it before it could happen. I want to say that we agreed with all the regional partners that the priority is peace. It was a long day for Ali, who first met with the CARICOM heads this morning at the Argyle Airport, even before his first session with Maduro. And as the afternoon draws to a close, there appears there was still much more meeting for all to attend. Sweeney Gray, CNC3 News. You're listening to Caribbean Perspective with Eddie Frederick. In association with our friends at Antillian Group, underwriters of all classes of insurance solutions for your protection and investment. Live well financially. A victory for CARICOM, so says St. Lucia's Prime Minister Philip J. Pear. In a historic step for regional diplomacy, Venezuela and Guyana pledged to resolve their long-simmering border dispute peacefully, marking a significant breakthrough brokered by CARICOM leaders. Solange Alfred of HDS News Force reports. Opposition leader Alain Chastney had poured cold water on a planned meeting in St. Vincent and the Grenadines brokered by CARICOM between the leaders of Venezuela and Guyana on the simmering dispute. The opposition, UWP, had called on the Prime Minister, Philip J. Pierre, to go it alone bilaterally on the foreign policy issue and ignore the diplomatic channels of CARICOM, as has been the norm for many years. 
Chastney, speaking to reporters this week, wanted a stern message sent to Venezuela. This issue with Guyana, for Venezuela to all of a sudden have a referendum against the, the decision of the international courts, to then act on that referendum, to want to lay claim to land and say you're going to appoint a cabinet and do all those things, and then for leaders of CARICOM to say they're going to have a meeting, I agree with Sir Sonny Ramphal. A meeting to discuss what? It's in court. All Venezuela has to be told is, is that you need to cease and desist what you're doing because it's disrupting and jeopardizing a zone of peace in our region. Guyana and Venezuela have agreed not to use force to settle their dispute over the oil-rich region of Esequibo. Mr. Ali and Mr. Maduro met in St. Vincent and the Grenadines on Thursday in a sit-down brokered by St. Vincent Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez with CARICOM heads in attendance. He read out a three-page joint declaration. Agree that Guyana and Venezuela, directly or indirectly, will not threaten or use force against one another in any circumstances, including those consequential to any existing controversies between the two states. Two, agree that any controversies between the two states will be resolved in accordance with international law, including the Geneva Agreement dated February 17, 1966. Three, committed to the pursuance of good neighborliness, peaceful coexistence, and the unity of Latin America and the Caribbean. Four, Noted Guyana's assertion that it is committed to the process and procedures of the International Court of Justice for the resolution of the border controversy. Noted Venezuela's assertion of its lack of consent and lack of recognition of the International Court of Justice and its jurisdiction in the border controversy. Five, agreed to continue dialogue on any other pending matters of mutual importance to the two countries. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Philip J. Pierre, who attended the dialogue, believes he made the right call by working with regional allies on the complex foreign policy issue. Pierre, a staunch integrationist, called it a victory for CARICOM. It showed maturity, it showed leadership, and it showed that when we sit and we speak to each other, we can achieve so much. Both President Maduro and President Ali must be complimented for the level of statesmanship that they displayed yesterday. You know, there have been many comments about what should have been said and what should not have been said. But I've I've always taken the position, and I'm very happy that I have been again proven to be correct when I took the position that we had to deal with that from a CARICOM perspective. Individual prime ministers should not have been going over the place seeing whatever they want, anybody else. We took a CARICOM position. CARICOM stood firm under the leadership of Comrade Ralph Gonzalez and Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt. And there was a representative of the government of Brazil who was there, who acted. And it was a very sober, very mature meeting. I am not sure whether many realize the repercussions of what could have happened if we didn't get at least to these two countries talking to each other. Pierre added that he was happy St. Lucia and other CARICOM states took a unified position to engage with both sides rather than individual leaders making statements that could inflame matters. The Prime Minister expressed his extreme pleasure at Thursday's diplomatic breakthrough. I am Eddie Frederick. This has been Caribbean Perspective, a whole new approach to highlighting developments in the Caribbean. In the meantime, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily regional news and more in association with our friends at Antillian Group. Believe in our strength, we'll stand by you. Protection from all perils, big and small. Reassurance we give, it's so glad to see. Peace of mind, that's a service guarantee. We look after all our family, yes, we do at every opportunity.
Unity. Antillian Group, underwriters of all classes of insurance solutions for your protection and investment. Live well financially.